This video will discuss the form of the theme from Beethoven's Diabelli Variations. Before viewing, you should have already read the binary form information from Chapter 23 and completed other assigned instructional videos. Let's take a listen to the piece, especially focusing our attention on phrase structure, cadences, and possible key changes. Here's the score for our piece. The piece begins and ends in C major, and just by looking at the score, we can see that the piece is broken into two large repeating sections, making this a binary form. We can now use what we've heard and what we see on the score to determine what type of binary form this is. To determine whether we have a sectional or continuous binary form, we need to look at the end of the first A section, which is right before the first repeat. At this point, we hear a G. To be sectional, the first A section would need to end with a tonic triad on the original tonic, which in this case is C. Since we hear a G, this is either a tonicized half cadence or a PAC in G. Neither of these options is C major, our original tonic, so this piece is continuous. Next, we need to determine whether our binary form is simple or rounded. If rounded, the very beginning motive or melody would return in the second section of the piece. The B section begins with the harmony standing on the dominant for four measures, which ultimately moves to C major with a bit of a twist. The twist is an added B flat to our C major triad, which turns this harmony into a dominant seventh. Since it isn't a dominant seventh of C or G, we need to consider that this is a secondary chord. So, how does this chord relate to what comes after it? The chord on the downbeat of measure 25 is an F major chord, and a C7, a C dominant seventh, definitely relates to F major as it's 5-7. Since the piece does not modulate to F major, this is a tonicization, and the dominant seventh is a 5-7 of F. F is 4, in the key of C major, so this is a 5-7 of 4. This moment is also the moment when a motive from the A section returns. To determine whether this is a rounded binary form, this return needs to be the melody from the very beginning of the piece. So compare measure 25 to the opening. It looks rather different, and as I look and remember the sound of the opening, I notice that measure 25 is not similar to measure 1, but is very similar to measure 9. Even though part of the A section returns, it is not the beginning of the piece, so this is not a rounded binary form. It is simple. To recap, this piece is a continuous, simple binary form. It contains an A section, which is a sentence ending on five, making it continuous. And the B section does not feature a return to the opening melody. Let's take one last listen to the piece, focusing on the 
large-scale formal elements of this continuous simple binary. Continuous because the first section does not end with C major, and simple because the opening melody does not return.